So that's when it happened. In a desperate attempt to get even or to show pure arrogance, for whatever the reason, Dawn brazenly poured the entire can of kerosene oil all over the tall, audacious body of Angela, literally soaking her from head to toe. The oil dripping from her face as she spit the excess from her lips like a child coming up for air at a swimming pool and spitting out the water. Before I knew it, as if from out of nowhere, Dawn struck a match. Then she tossed it at Angela. In a blink of an eye, she took one step back, watching the flames consume Angela's delicious flesh. Angela let out an intense scream, panting, as if she were running a treadmill or something. Dawn laughed hysterically weeks prior. One on, on a hot, thirsty July night, Ulysses had just stepped out of Cafe's nightclub, sweat dripping from his body, as if he'd just come out of a shower. The soft night wind cooled his forehead, but not enough to beat the intense summer heat. Crowds of people slowly swarmed in every direction, unfastening his collared shirt. You approached the signpost and leaned up against it to wipe his brow. That's when he overheard a few girls giggling in the background by the benches, saying something to the effect of, Stop. Go somewhere else. Leave me alone. The small group of girls were complaining, but Ulysses was not at all amused in the least. He seemed to be too preoccupied with his own thoughts to pay any attention to the girls. Continuing to wipe his sweat, you idly drifted in and out of days, deep into thought. Suddenly, a band of dudes, four or five to be exact, approached him, saying, stop, stop watching me. She says you're giving her problems. Ulysses was shocked at what he heard. He just heard, thinking, that sounds crazy. He even turned around to see if there was anyone else around nearby. Perhaps they were speaking to someone else, thinking to himself, he mumbled beneath his breath, looking one of the dudes in the eyes. What? Questioningly asked, but before he could finish his question, the tallest guy pushed his hand up against Ulysses' chest. The tall girl over there, he cried. That one. The guy answered, you, Ulysses didn't know who he was talking about. Shrugging his shoulders, he asked, what girl, what are you talking about? Within moments, the girl with the red hair stepped out of the crowd, approaching him and stared intensely into Yu's eyes. He thought he'd seen her someplace before, wasn't quite sure, perhaps somewhere else. He thought, but nothing came to mind at the time. He stared, started to feel the intense tension around him grow increased. One of the guys from the crowd beneath pulled Ulysses to the ground while the others kicked and punched him. Angie just stood back laughing at the whole thing. She seemed to be getting a big kick out of it. The four dudes must have beaten you for a good hour and 15 minutes easily. 
when the fight was over, he had blood oozing from his nose. He even had a black eye limping on the way to his car. Ulysses, badly bruised from the kicks and thumps to his head. He could see the girl through his rearview mirror. He thought of her with pure hate. For whatever the reason, Dawn brazenly poured the entire can of kerosene oil all over the tall, audacious body of Angela, literally soaking her from head to toe, oil dripping from her face as she spat out the excess from her lips like a child coming up for air at a swimming pool and spitting out the water. Before I knew it, it was over. As if out of nowhere, dawn struck the match. In a blink of an eye, she tossed it at Angela. Then she took one step back to watch the flames consume Angela's delicious flesh. Angela let out an intense scream, panting, as if she were running a treadmill, blood oozing from Ulysses' nose as he awoken from horrific fantasy-like dream of Angie being severely burned by some lewd character named Dawn. He felt ill, knowing he liked someone else. As terrible as it was, but at the same time, he hated someone as beautiful as she, delicious. Angela, with hate somewhere in his heart, have you ever imagined doing evil or wished harm on someone else. Try being conflicted with the desire to hurt those that hurt you in the same way.